Hey, how are you? David here. Um, I just want to share with you a short story about me joining a digital um, academy. Um, sometimes last year, I got disrupted. And I'm sure you're aware about digital disruptions that is causing, you know, havoc every other place. And just to step back and just think about what digital, uh, digital disruption so digital transformation or digital disruptions occurs when uh, digital technologies and business models disrupt value proposition of existing goods and services. Um, to bring it home, um, I think you have seen what companies like Uber are doing to traditional transport, especially in the taxi business, or Airbnb, for instance. Um, they are affecting the traditional hotel and motel business. So. <clears throat> Bring it even down close home, you, you appreciate how, or think about Israel a bit, how initially people, would, there was a big company called Posta Telecommunications in this, in this country, Kenya. Uh, I mean, we used to send letters, but now with emails, I mean, that business is almost out. And actually, thinking about it, there are jobs we know today that will not be present or not will be extinct in the next couple of years, maybe five years or ten years from now. And there were jobs that were really marketable or there were big jobs five, ten years ago that are no longer marketable today. So this day transformation or digital disruption is happening all over. And I think it's affecting all industries. Think about whether it is um, uh, in uh, agriculture, farming and uh, entertainment, transport. I mean, think about it. Even like we needed big guys who would mix. But now, some of these things, you're able to do them actually from your computer. So, when I think about digital transformation or disruption, um, for me, it's like someone threw me into a pool. I had an option of either thinking of stepping back, dry myself and continue with normal life, or actually enroll in a swimming class and start swimming and learning how to do backstroke and stuff. So, <clears throat> January this year, I decided to join um, a digital academy where I was supposed to learn these new things. Just to take you briefly about how the structure was, uh, the academy we did first initially simple things, not simple, but things that are easy, not very deep dive into technology. We did design thinking methodology. These are dope uh, stuff that I think everyone should do regardless of what you do in life. And agile, agile is just a way of working. And also something that would encourage anyone to, I mean, this information is out there on public domain. Just Google and you'll be able to get free material that you can learn. So agile ways of working. Simple stuff that I would encourage anyone to, 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 to learn and just see how people are changing their culture of working and stuff like that. Um, design thinking methodology, methodology, DTM, is fantastic of looking at how you actually do business instead of just think about uh, your system, but thinking more about the customer. And when you think about the customer first, it changes the way, the approach and the way you do things. So that was our first, like, the first week or two. Then we dived in now into the real technologies. Um, we had six modules. So you are doing um, bas basic and decent introduction to cloud computing, um, 5G technologies, and IoT. IoT is this big thing, Internet of Things. It's also big, it's small now, but it's going to disrupt how we do things in life. Then we had cloud computing. Did I say cloud computing? I said cloud computing, sorry. So cloud computing, 5G technologies and IoTs, cyber security, data science, and last dev, DevOps. And lastly, we were doing web and mobile applications development, which is actually what I chose to do. And web and mobile apps dev, it's actually programming. It's coding, man. It's, it's real, real stuff. A little bit of background on myself. Um, I studied electrical and electronics engineering in college, and that the kind of things that I was doing. Um, then later, I mean, started doing photography and all this creative, interesting stuff. So I had no former background of either computer science or programming, or the coding that we say. So this was an happy task, honestly speaking, for me. Uh, the learning curve was a little bit steep. But it's manageable. It's doable. I've done it. 
six, seven months actually, seven months to be precise. The first one and a half month was these are the things I've mentioned, but five months was core focus into programming. Just to give you um, a, a, a simple snippet of what it was all about, uh, we, the first is preparation to actually to, to, to coding or to programming, which is CS, HTML and CSS, the markup and styling languages. Then we did JavaScript. JavaScript now, be able to program their web and make uh, websites or develop applications that are interactive. Then we dived even to deeper, harder stuff. Java, Java. No Java coffee, Java <laughs> programming language. It's crazy, man. Um, we did Java Spark, tough stuff. And lastly, then we finished off with uh, Android. Again, Java, still Java stuff. My experience, it is hard. It's not even hard. It is demanding. It demands your mind, heart, soul, sweat and blood. But it is doable. I've done it myself. I mean, uh, and hearing about my background, I have no computer science background or anything like that. So it's actually doable. It's, it's doable. It just needs some sacrifice. I had to sacrifice a lot. Um, be willing to suffer. 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 But not, not as much. You can make it fun. The class composition that I was in was interesting because we had these young guys who cleared college like a year, two years ago. And we had old guys like us. Am I old? Anyway, I don't think I'm old. But yeah, I advanced a little bit who have been out of college or class for a few years. That plus, with far more family rather, like for me, I, at the time I was joining the academy, I had a five months kid. My son was five months. And you know at that time, man, at the time they decide to sleep or not sleep. And you come home, tired, 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 tired. Just you want to bed and sleep. But you get very little of that. And the following day, you are in class. And did I mention that it was a full day, full time, eight to eight class? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I'll share with you tips and tricks that you can, that actually made me survive. Do I, should I share with you now or later? But yeah, I think for me first is an encouragement that this can be done. Uh, it's possible to transit or to change, to bring a new family in your head and actually do stuff. The other thing is the opportunities are great. Um, I'm happy that now I have a, a global skill set. What do I mean by that? Programming skills is skills that you can use everywhere in this part of, or in this, in this globe or down the earth. You can work anywhere in the world. So that's a beauty first. But I think for me when I look, looking back to my time in the academy, it's not even just the skill set. The biggest one that I am grateful for is the mind shift. My mind has changed the way I look at things. I've discovered a ton of things that I didn't know and a ton of things, interesting stuff that I can get online and study on myself or study uh, at my own pace. And the big one is, man, is to keep reading, keep learning. They say readers are leaders. So if you're not reading, if you're not learning something new, you're dying. So I think for me it's a mind shift. I have come to appreciate the importance, the importance of setting a time to study every other day, not just, you know, study new stuff, man. There's so new interesting stuff out there to read. And, and, very important, you can be anything in life. In this day and age, we are living such a beautiful time that we, have, we are living in the information age. So every information, whether you want to become a cook, a, you know, a photographer, you know, um, anything you think you, you'd want to do, anything that you've always shelved at the back, that, you know, you've always had a compassion to all, like an inclination to do some of these things, you can actually do it. However, if you want to join a boot camp, I think I'll give you five. Anyway, I'll not give you your tips. Go away. <laughs> ah, 
and forgotten to rant. I should have ranted. I'm like, it's good to rant. I really get bored by those YouTubers who, before they even tell you anything, they are telling you to subscribe, to do like, share. Damn. Who, 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 who are you to tell us to subscribe and do all this? I'm not telling you to subscribe. Like if you want to like. Hit the subscribe button if you want to. You can even smash it if you want to. Uh, bite your screen. If you, I mean, you do what you want to do. And enjoy and have fun. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.